Welcome back to the Meeple Marathon. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Architects of the West Kingdom's final expansion, Works of Wonder. Uh, we also, as part of this Kickstarter, are going to be taking a look at the um, Collector's Edition uh, big box that's to store this uh, or the base game plus Works of Wonder plus Age of Artisans, hopefully, and as well we are going to be taking a look at the play mat here. So while we've got the camera zoomed out, let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful play mat. Um, I mean, I, I, it's, it's just really nice. <laughs> um, it's very clear. It's very colorful. Um, it's got stitched edging, right? So you feel like it's, it's going to hold up, but the, the bleed of the you know colors goes right over the edge, which is really nice. I really like this look. Um, you know, I really like stitched edging to begin with. It's just a very clean look, but normally it's just like a thick black band that goes around. Whereas this, it just goes right to the edge and has that like wrapped feeling that you see on a lot of of um, board games uh, or game boards. Sorry. But yeah, I mean, basically everything is here. This is all, you know, from the original game here, from say here to here. Um, but this uh, was not, you know, the original board would have ended right about here and then here. So uh, it's this much bigger than the board, uh, the original board. So you have spots for your Age of Artisans cards. This is where your Works of Wonders are gonna go. And then this whole section, uh, technically is uh, added in or is an add-on board that we'll see here in a second but it doesn't uh, give you a spot for your works of wonder they're just told to place them off off to the side somewhere in the main instructions but this play mat gives you a spot for them which is really nice but uh, I'm just you know very happy with this it's got you know the standard grip on the bottom so it's not going to go anywhere and yeah this is just a really nice um, really nice touch. I don't foresee, you know, the, them coming out with a playmat for Paladins or Viscounts simply because Viscounts, the board is, it can be rearranged, you know, be in different places, uh, and Paladins, it would just be one long skinny, uh, neighboring mat, it would feel kind of funny out on the table. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. So let's, um, we're gonna keep this out just so you guys can take a peek at it in the background, but let's take a look at uh, Works of Wonder. All right, so, um, you know, standard size expansion box for all the rest of the West Kingdom stuff here. It is on there tight though. Um, so Works of Wonder obviously adds the wonders in. It also adds the Profiteer and the Princess. But the thing I think I'm the most excited for is the um, addition of a whole new solo AI to play against, which is, uh, feels very robust, at least from from reading it. So um, you can see here three new AI player boards, uh, and they're double-sided, so six different AI you can play against. Uh, but pretty standard rule book here. We've seen all this before, uh, and most of it is... Um, for half of it, it feels like it's going to be for solo play. Yeah, solo play starting here around page eight and goes to uh, 14. So, yeah, you know, half of this rule book, if you don't plan on playing solo, you're only looking at seven pages of, uh, of, of stuff you need to, to figure out. So, not bad at all. So We'll take a look at these here in a second. This is the board extension that if you were playing with the board, you didn't have the play mat, you would add on to the side of the board. So we, you know, we're just looking at this a second ago. This would, you know, fits right in there. Um, but essentially this is giving you, and starting from the top here, this is where your contribution cards are gonna go. You can contribute toward materials that are gonna go towards the wonders, because the wonders, are going to need like 10 to 15 of, of a single resource uh, to build. And so you can contribute towards them, but you may not be the person who builds them. Uh, but you get stuff for contributing. So that's going to tell you, but these are going to be cards uh, laid out here that are going to change. And then the Profiteer and the Princess 
give you different things when you go to their specific location. I'm not going to cover all those rules, but generally, you know, she's going to give you really good stuff. He's going to give you stuff, but has some negatives about it, things like that. And we're going to see some double-sided cards here in a second that when you flip to a new, uh, when one of these cards get filled up, you're going to flip it over and on the back side tells you what happens when you go to their locations, but also changes their locations. So they're going to move around the map. And then last but not least, it's just two additional uh, locations for apprentices here, plus a, a draw pile card stack. And then some more stuff about how this uh, influence track works over here. So it used to be just virtue, now it's virtue and influence in this game. All right, so a whole bunch of cards. Again, we'll take a look at those here in a second. And these, I believe, are just reward cards. So a whole new stack of reward cards. It used to be there's a very limited number out here. You're actually going to be dealing out more because you can get reward cards for more than just um, building at the cathedral. So um, this is all the neat stuff. Ooh. So each different wonder has its own, um, you know, mega mega meeple house or whatever you want to call it um, so there we go each one represents uh, different resources so you know brick stone wood gold marble if you are the one to build it then you get to place your wonder at a location i actually i don't think it can be mines i don't think it can be the, the hard resource locations silversmith might be one of them but essentially when you put your person here Anytime you go there, you get a little bonus. Um, you can either run up your influence track or you can get like, you know, an extra, counts as like an extra worker, but only you get it. So um, these are just kind of fun. Yeah, it makes the board pop, you know, three dimensionally, things like that. So if you were, I don't know how easy it will be to get all five of them out, especially in a solo game, probably is not gonna happen, but, um, add some depth to the board so here's the profiteer meeple so he's going to be placed around the board same with the princess she gets the white one this is now for the uh, solo ai player and we're going to touch on this why i'm excited about that one little token and then there is a whole bunch of flags for the various player colors and these are to go up the uh, influence track so Formerly there was just two, one for virtue and one for the cathedral track. Now you have a third one to go up the influence track. But that's it. So not a ton of added pieces, which is nice. Um, again, we're going to talk about this guy here in just a second. So let's take a look at these player boards here. All right, let's look at the new regular player boards first. Again, all of these guys um, <clears throat> are gonna give you, oh, she's got all these question marks here. That's interesting. Um, oh, okay, yep, so they're the double-sided here. This is the one where you can play where you have a variable starting setup and she has a variable power and the other side is everybody's just kind of standard here. Um, so, Lewis is a bet. Clotidle, Clotidle, Clotidle. She looks German. Ooh. Zissero. There we go. And Arnulf. Arnulf likes the brick. And Charles. You think Charles starts with gold because he's yellow? Nope, he starts with wood. Okay, but here we go. Here are a 
So you got like the aristocrat, the meddler, the patron, the peddler, the illusionist, and the enforcer. So each one of these is unique. And so what you're seeing here is very similar to the paladins of the uh, West Kingdom solo AI, where instead of gaining the coins or resources, they march along this track, and when they do, they gain something, but this also uh, says, okay, these are the cards you're gonna go after at any given time when Tone told to draw something. You can see here that um, you know each one of these guys has like a specific place that they like to go to when this specific symbol comes up. I'm guessing guardhouse is probably all the same actions. Um, these appear to be all the same, except for like these numbers are different along here. So I haven't 100% uh, gotten my head around all of these new solo AI rules, but it just seems very uh, intriguing because in my opinion, the AI worked well uh, in the original game but I continue to get blasted when I played the Age of Artisans AI, uh, and it really was just about them coming and finding you. Now I feel like hopefully there's gonna be a little bit more to these guys. So let's see here, I believe these are the AI cards. Yeah, so these backs here. And you can see here that um, essentially it's gonna tell you a place to go and certain actions you're gonna take, but sometimes it's gonna give you a choice. and if this symbol, and I don't know the iconography, is true, then you're gonna to go to the guild hall. If not, you're gonna to go to the black market. The black market's always available. Um, here, for example, if there's, if you either have eight plus money or there's eight plus money in the tax stand, I'm guessing, you go to the tax stand. If not, you do your special symbol. Uh, and again, these, like the special symbols is, was not even present in the initial one. So these cards feel more like um, the AI from Tome Saga. So it's almost like they took a little bit of the AI from Tome Saga, and took a little bit of the AI from Paladins, and created a much more robust AI. So very excited to get into this. Have no fear, once I get it figured out, we will be doing a how to play video. Um, specifically, uh, we'll, we'll do one that encompasses everything. That, encompasses the new works of Wonder Rules as well as the solo AI. Here we have um, our contribution cards. So these are the cards that, oh, so this is for Tome Saga. Um, these are gonna be up and you can contribute cert, uh, a single resource to that. And once this card is filled, it's gonna flip over and you can see then it's gonna tell you where the profiteer goes and where the princess goes what happens uh, when you might go there, um, or you know what happens when you have, what, any player has someone at the profiteer or whoever has the most workers at the princess place, things like that. So you're kind of vying for their attention depending on the direction you wanna go. Most of these appear to be the same on this side, yes. So, um, but they're all gonna be different here. You can see all the locations are different there. Um, so there's your contribution cards. Looks like we have a unique card for the Tome Saga. I can't remember his name now off the top of my head, but that's fine. So these are the Wonder cards. They appear to just be double-sided. So you've got your wooden house. See, it's gonna take it's gonna take 12 wood, and people may have already contributed to that wood, and it's just gonna sit there. And so you may not need 12 wood, you may only need eight if four people have already contributed, but you may be the first person to get to six influence and have four money uh, from the tax. Uh, I think that means. Basically then you get to build this um, and then set it out. And these are gonna get progressively harder. You can see stone now it takes 14 and five and three. Um, brick takes 15 brick. And gold and marble are not quite as bad, but these are really tough resources to get your hands on. So eight marble um, 
is nigh impossible <laughs> in my opinion to get but we'll see we'll see how it works out uh, maybe we'll let the ai contribute a lot of marble to that ivory tower there but there you have it those are the the wonder cards again they're gonna have a special spot on the play mat and then it looks like just a whole bunch more uh, buildings and uh, apprentices so i'm just going to look at some of these briefly oh look at that one you get a you get two reward cards maybe when you gain a reward card i'll have to look uh again shem phillips's games always have a lot of symbology but usually it makes a lot of sense once you have read what it is it's like oh yeah that makes perfect sense so um but yeah like i said i'm not going to go through all of these um they all have this symbol in them so you know these are from the works of wonder if you wanted to take them out and then here are some new apprentices to add in The benefactor, he's gruesome looking. The charlatan. See, like all these guys do stuff when you lose influence. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for. The Works of Wonder expansion. Last but not least, we're going to take a look at the Collector's Box. Okay, so here we have the Collector's Box. Um, you know, uh, just some fun artwork on the sides here. And we just people all around the edges and this nice uh, perspective view along the back. So let's take a look at what the insert looks like on the inside. Right. So lots of different wells. I'm assuming we're probably going to put resources in here. We'll take a look at these here in just a second. Um, why so much stuff right here? Obviously, standard size cards, uh, coins maybe, and here. Um, yeah, the worker meeples, or maybe these are maybe these are going to be the various colors of meeples. These are going to be the resources. We'll figure it out. Um, so just very quickly here, let's take a look at the promos that came with the collector's edition box. It looks like some more uh, one single uh, contribution card. Got ourselves a strong man here. And a traveler. Okay. And we've got three new buildings. Archive. That is a lot of resources there. This is giving me 10 points. Alms house. And a vineyard. Okay, and some artisan cards. Okay, so let's see if we can get it all into the box now. Okay, so everything's in there there's a few things that i felt like uh could have um been a little better but we'll get to those here in a second rule books on top obviously that's pretty straightforward and then the board main board which i don't need anymore but it's holding everything in place so we're going to continue obviously to hold on to it um all right so around the outside here, you see there is wells for all of the standard size cards and then one well for the mini cards. In with the mini cards, there are also these two layovers for, um, I can't remember if these are for Age of Artisans or for 
the uh, Tome Saga expansion, but either way, those are just the right size to fit in there. And there is plenty of room here for sleeved cards. These, you know, this is it for Architects of the West Kingdom. So everything that's, unless they come out with other promos or something like that, everything that's going to be in there is in there. Um, all right. So uh, those are pretty straightforward. Um, you know, what I did here was put all of my buildings as well as my wonders uh, over here. Uh, buildings, wonders, and then the, um, uh, what do you call those cards? We've just been talking about it, but for the works of wonder uh, expansion are in there. And then here we have all of our apprentices and then the uh, Age of Artisan uh, specific cards. And then over here we have all of our AI stuff. So the new AI here, the original AI here, as well as the Tome Saga uh, stuff. And there's enough room over here to fit the Tome Saga uh, un uncolored meeples there that you're supposed to use. So there we go. All right, here's the resources. First of all, these are not all the same size. At first glance, you would think they were, and I put them in order from you know what I consider to be best to worst, and the marble didn't even come close to fitting in up here. Well, if you look at it closely, this well is bigger than the other ones. So, marble happens to be even, ironically enough, that it's the most precious resource, I guess because it's the biggest one, it takes up the most amount of room, and so you want to put the marble in the center one here. Well, also a very big resource is the brick. And you can see the brick doesn't quite fit in its well very well. So at some point here, uh, now that I've shown you guys, it's hard to really see, but uh, they kind of stick up there, which meant the board was not laying flat, the main player board. I am probably gonna take some, throw them in a baggie, and just tuck them somewhere. Um, I don't think I've ever run out of brick. Um, but it is a little annoying that these aren't just a little bit deeper. There's nothing beneath them, and I don't think they're going all the way to the bottom. Uh, they do have like a swoop to them. I don't know if you saw that when we had them just open, but that swoop is not going to come into play until you get to the very bottom of the barrel. Um, so yeah, I felt like this was just kind of, it's not like I have extra brick tokens or something like that. So uh, buyer beware, if you do have like upgraded resource tokens, I, you know, I myself have looked into those on like Etsy where it's like realistic looking brick and marble and stone and stuff like that. Be careful because they, all your resources may not fit in the wells provided here. So other than that, we have our special guild hall board. This came with the age of artisans expansion on top of the score pad. The score pad fits nicely in with these extension pieces for Age of Artisans. All right, and then here we have all of the player boards. So AI, original, expansion, whole big old stack of them. And then, this is very crucial, this is where you put your extension board. It fits in here perfectly. You wanna put it on the bottom because the player boards, you can see, don't fill up this whole space, right? They left, uh, or maybe they didn't do it on purpose, but there's enough room to get your finger under there. But this board uh, fits rather snugly, which I think is nice because the stuff underneath is not gonna get jostled around. And then the stuff underneath is pretty uh, explanatory here. You have a well for each one of your various colored meeples and then the works of wonder and princess profiteer AI token. Those are all in this middle section here. So um, pretty easy to figure out that there's six, uh, assuming you have the age of artisans expansion, you have six uh, player colors here and there's six wells and you have five resources and there's five wells up here. So it's not like I could flip flop them if I wanted to. But there you have it. Um, I just want to see what this feels like if I take out a handful of brick here. Okay, well, everything is laying much more flat. Um, so again, here you can see how these resources all go in there. Put your cards in however you see fit. 
then board extension on top of player boards here. I was putting them in off to the right. Then these little player board extensions, your score pad, your guild hall board. All right, and then your player board. And let's see here, is this, and that's nicer. That fits much more snugly. It was rocking a little bit beforehand. Um, and now we know that's about five bricks, too many in the game. Um, then we're gonna uh, put in rule books here. I have them staggered, so a couple ends are on each side. And then we have the lid. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how everything goes back into the box in the Architects of the West Kingdom Collector's Edition box. Uh, so that is everything that was part of the most recent Kickstarter that's been delivered now for uh, Garfield Games and Shem Phillips and Sam McDonald. Um, their most recent Kickstarter was the expansions and collector's box for Viscounts that will be coming eventually, and they're getting ready to release their Kickstarter for their um, South Sea, no, not South Seas, South Tigris expansion, Wayfarers of the South Tigris, I think it is. Um, so very excited about that, um, especially after this such amazing games that these three are so keep an eye out for that coming very soon on kickstarter anyways if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more content like this in the future please consider subscribing to the channel once again thanks for watching have a great day